Hey, hey, universe and mining family. Grab your shovel and your pickaxes. Welcome to the show. I'm Nemesis, and of course, I'm not your babysitter. Do your own research, but let's dig in. Mining with no special equipment. Tokens uses Bitcoin principles on Ethereum blockchain. What? What's this all about? This doesn't even sound right. The developers of a token on the slogan, no ICO, no pre-mine, no bull, you know what, say it, allows my users to mine that coin without any equipment required simulating Bitcoin mining me mechanism on the Ethereum blockchain. The only way to have mining like Bitcoin means you have to have proof of work, which means you have to expend electricity for this. <clears throat> but being an ERC-20, it's a contract. So Bitcoinium, um, an ERC-20 token created in um, 20, uh, last year, <clears throat> is called by its developers first Bitcoin mineable ERC-20 token on the Ethereum blockchain. It's not really mining. I'll tell you that much. I kind of dug into this a little bit right when I saw the, the headline on this. Like, what is Bitcoinerium? And it's not really mining. Um, it's more like staking or masternodes almost. Um, it's not even mining with your, like, your wallet. Like, uh, Walton Chain. Walton Chain, I can set it up. It's my wallet. It looks for the hardware in my computer, and I hit a button, and it starts mining Walton Chain from my wallet. Uh, what they're saying is not going to be the same thing. Even their website, I'll get to that at the end. <clears throat> its mining system imitates the the same mining mechanism on the Ethereum blockchain used for creating Bitcoin, with but instead of using mining equipment, the users are just required to call one function of its token smart contract. And remember, it's just a, con a smart contract. According to the team, the only thing that the user needs is to have a few Ethereum in their wallet, which it will be used to pay for the Ethereum network fees. Hmm. <clears throat> Anyone can mine Bitconium by calling it mine function of a smart contract you just need to interact with a smart contract by using any ethereum wallet like my ethereum wallet or geth the token incorporates a smaller mining mechanism to bitcoin including the mining reward having every four years the whole process is quite transparent and we have invited anyone with interest with the review to bitconium's source code the bitconium team Told Coin Telegraph, the only thing this freaking coin's about is mining. Uh, like I said, I'll get to that at the very end. <clears throat> the only thing that they're really grabbing from Bitcoin is part of its name: 21,000 mineable coins by its uh, uh, supply, and uh, the halfening. <clears throat> Big deal. There's no use case on this. The developers put a limit to a maximum of 50 coins being mined every 10 minutes. The same thing mined reward back in 2009. This reward will continue until 2021 when it will be half to 25. The team says, however, Bitconium mechanism allows only one miner to receive the full reward every 10 minutes. The reward is split by 50 calls instead, and whoever makes the first 50 calls receives the coin during that period. <coughs> These rules are designed to help avoid mining monopoly and get a better distribution of Bitcoinium across the community. At press time, 32,000 uh, coins were mined so far. The concept of the smart contract mining or public mining means that anyone, any uh, means allowing anyone to mine a token by calling it a smart contract function. The team explained. This concept was originally introduced by Artemine, a token which does not require any 
customary equipment for mining. It was announced that an updated version of Minerium at the time of its launch last year, our Tyrium mine team managed to build a major platform that was focused on public mining and self-mining principles. But what is its use case besides being an, a great coin to mine? You know, is it, yeah. It just doesn't seem like it's anything good. Um, I've looked into this one too, but I'll get into the one that, they're, that they started off with, which is Bitconium. <clears throat> Our domain coin can be mined in two ways, by calling it a smart contract function, by owning a Genesis address or another major update which introduces the possibility of decentralized trading of Genesis address. Making them a sort of crypto collectible, the team explained. The self-mining process of Genesis address is automated and based on mathematical formula. In addition to this, the user can transfer their Genesis address to trade them on the open market directly to the purchaser without a third party involvement. Sales can be made through smart contracts in a peer to peer environment. That's the project's, uh, that's the project team expects all Artemine Genesis address to be mined in the next 40 to 60 years. <clears throat> and again, like like I was sitting here saying, um, a lot of this is just it, the way that they are explaining it is setting up like a uh, like you're locking in your coins into your wallet and then you're being rewarded. That is not mining. Uh, mining requires specialized, you know, it requires hardware to do work. Uh, none of this that they've explained is doing work in any way, shape, or form. Um, here, let me hop onto their website real quick. And <clears throat> like I was saying, like right here, I mean, it, they're just talking about mining. There's no white paper here. Um, it, it's there's no use case of where where they they're expecting their little niche to be in. So, so what if this, this coin can be mined with your wallet by staking your tokens in, into your uh, ERC-20 wallet? So, what is the, the real benefit? Who's using this network, you know, other than it just looking like it's a, a, a money grab? For me, this would be something that I would definitely stay away from. Again, this is my opinion on all of this. Uh, the, this is... Every bit of it just reeks of just money, 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 money grab. Um, I'm just wondering if in the long run, if this is going to have a use case to it um, or if this is just going to be a money grab. I hope it's not just a money grab, but, you know, time will tell. And they've got a couple of uh, places where they can be traded on. But again, this isn't something that me personally... Until I can see a use case on something like this, I'm going to stay away from it. I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. So with that being said, guys, what's your thoughts on this? Is this something that you'd actually be interested in just to make a little bit of money while you can um, and hope that it's not a pump and dump? Or are you, like me, going to stay the hell away from this? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, smash that like button, hit the subscribe and the bell, bell notification. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.